Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would start a new series called My Holy Grails where I basically break up my favorite beauty products or hair products or skincare into my holy grails. So hopefully you guys liked the very first video that I decided to film. Recently did on my channel a video talking about my favorite hair products from shampoo to styling and since I have discovered my holy grail favorites so I've narrowed it down to what I actually use every time I go in the shower and come out of the shower and it's going to be my holy grail hair products. So some people that know me personally may think I'm high maintenance with my hair. I don't think that I am but I'll explain to you why I think that they think I am and it's because my hair is very puffy, it's kind of thick and it's not quite straight and it's not quite curly, it's more so wavy. It tends to get frizzy and every time I wash it, it is at its most puffiest state possible and I absolutely hate it. So in order to make it look like this shiny, straight, and glossy, I have to do a couple of little things that sometimes feel like a chore to myself as well. So I do not wash my hair every day. I wash it maybe two times, maybe three times a week. It's not good to wash your hair every day. In fact, it's bad because you're stripping your hair of its natural oils and in turn making it drier and frizzier. So usually my hair does not get greasy until it's time for me to wash it again, which is great. But for those days when my hair is greasy or I simply want to extend my style and not have to wash my hair or if I'm traveling or something like that, dry shampoo comes in very handy and I have two favorites. The first one is one that I got in a glossy box, a deluxe size sample. It was about $9. I found it on Sephora and when they had their VIB sale of 20% off, I went and splurged on the full size and it comes from Chlorine. I had never heard of this company before. It has a white kind of powdery mist that sprays out and you spray it evenly into the roots of your hair and finger comb it in. It instantly absorbs any excess oil in your scalp and hair. It makes it smell good, it makes it look fresh, and it makes it look like you just washed it. So this is a perfect product to use. Any dry shampoo is perfect to use when you're traveling or you just want to extend that hairstyle a little bit longer. But this one's expensive, it's kind of pricey, so I save that one for special occasions. And I have found a great product from the drugstore that is quite comparable and it's not so expensive and it's often on sale, especially at Ulta. They usually do the buy one, get one half off and it is the brand Batiste. I love Batiste. I think their dry shampoos smell great. They have original scent, they have coconut. There's a whole bunch of them, but I recently discovered that they made one for us darker haired brunette girls and this is the medium and brunette. It comes with a hint of color. So when you spray it onto your hair, it's not white. It doesn't give you that white cast. It actually has a little bit of brown to it. So I would advise you being careful to not spray it onto your clothing. Those soap and water would easily remove it, but just be careful keeping it to your hair. And again, it instantly absorbs any excess oils in the scalp, making your hair look fresh and clean. The only difference that I found between these two, this one being the pricier one, is that I feel like my hair isn't quite as textured when I use it. It still feels it still feels soft and clean as if I just washed it. Whereas this one gives a little bit of a thicker, almost not pasty, but almost drier consistency, but it does give you that volume. So if you're going to do a hairstyle where you want to tease it up or just create more of a volume at the base of your scalp, then you may want to use this one instead. And again, it's affordable because it's from the drugstore and this smells amazing. I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like, but I love this guy. It's awesome. It's $7.99. I forgot to mention this one is about $20. And this is my top absolute favorite shampoo. It's the only shampoo I use and it is the Organics Brazilian Carotene Therapy Ever Straight Shampoo. They also have a conditioner. I don't tend to use conditioners very often because it weighs down my hair and it can make my hair greasy. So I only use a shampoo and then I will apply styling products to the ends of my hair when I come out that help to condition it. And the reason why I like this one is because it's infused with both coconut oil and carotene. These items are going to both strengthen my hair, make it shiny, and create a frizz-free look, which I really like. I feel like my hair is shiny after I use this product and I don't have any of that frizziness that I used to have. In fact, if I'm having a humidity-free day, I can simply blow dry my hair and it stays pretty straight. It's still slightly puffy because again, I have very thick hair, but if we're having good weather, I can actually skip ironing my hair, which is fantastic. It saves me a little bit more time. And it says here why you want to use this particular shampoo. It has a rich formula of Brazilian coconut oil and carotene proteins, which will both smooth and strengthen, which will both smooth and strengthen, why can't I say that? Which will both smooth and strengthen your curly or wavy tresses, creating a much smoother hair shaft and a much straighter hair shaft. So in a nutshell, this shampoo strengthens, smooths, and adds shine to my hair. So the three S's, again, it's carotene and coconut oil infused, and it's the Ever Straight Organics Carotene 
um, Brazilian Carotene Therapy Shampoo. And this is so affordable. I find this at the drugstore, at Ulta, even at the grocery store. It's like a 6 or $7 shampoo, and this will last me for months and months because I only need a little bit at a time. I will say, though, that I don't use this at the scalp of my hair because I'm scared it'll get too greasy and create too much of a buildup. So I will use a clarifying shampoo, such as the ones from Paul Mitchell, or even an anti-dandruff shampoo, which works as a clarifying shampoo just in the scalp. But I really love this shampoo. So once I've stepped out of the shower and I've towel dried my hair, I like to apply a product that's going to help create a more flawless and straight finish to my hair. And it's a pretty affordable product. I've been using this for quite a few years and it's the John Frieda Frizz Ease 3 Day Straight. It comes with a nozzle, so basically you open this little latch to one side and it's able to spray out and then you can lock it up again, which is great for traveling. This is another six or seven dollar product and again, it lasts me for months because all I need is a couple sprays throughout my hair and I can put it away. And this is exactly what it does. It transforms curly, frizzy hair into a straight, smooth style that lasts up to three days. And I will attest to that, especially on rainier weather. I will use this product when I wash my hair and it will stay straighter once I've finished styling it with my heat styling products. And it's pretty impressive considering it's not very expensive. It says it has a revolutionary heat activated formula which wraps each strand to seal in longer lasting straightness without weighing the hair down. That's also true. I don't feel like it weighs down my hair. It's a very lightweight. It's not waxy either. It protects against heat damage and it blocks frizz. And again, it comes with that carotene protein. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for something to fight that frizz. And it has that heat protectant for your styling products. The next thing that I love to use is something I recently discovered. I purchased this with a gift card that I got on my birthday. It's called One United and it provides 25 benefits. I used to love and I still do love that it's a 10, but I have not been reaching for it. Honestly, I've been reaching for this guy because it does so many things. It offers 15 more things that it's a 10 does not. It conditions it, it defrizzes the hair, it's a heat protectant, it's a detangler. It just makes your hair look flawless, shiny, beautiful. It does everything you need. Honestly, you could probably just use this, but I've become a fan of these other things I'm talking about here, and that's why I use all of these on and off throughout my hair styling. And one of the things I like about this is that it smells really good, and it comes out in a cream spray form. It kind of reminds you of It's a 10 in that consistency. Some people like to spray it into their hands and work it into their palms and then run it through their hair. Because it has a pretty wide range to spray, I'm fine just spraying it throughout my hair. I usually work it from about the mid down because I don't, again, want to get build up on the scalp or create greasiness. I want that style to last me as long as possible so I don't have to wash it again and go through this whole process again. But it's a really good product. Maybe six, seven, or eight sprays throughout my hair is enough. And again, I focus it towards the middle and lower end because that's where I'm going to be applying most of the heat styling products. And it's a heat protective too, so it's a really, really good product. And you could probably chuck everything under your sink away and just use this guy. I love this. I'm so glad I tried it out. The next two products are what I like to use on the very ends of my hair. When I'm finished with everything, once I've combed through my hair, and for a great detangling comb, I highly recommend the one from Sephora. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the the detangling brush. I'm not sure. It's like this big wide comb brush. I'll link it below, but it works really well at getting out the knots once I've applied those conditioning and leave-in conditioning products to my hair. So for the ends, I love to use this sexy hair smooth encounter infused with coconut oil and creates 50% smoother hair. It smells really good and it's also a blow dry extender cream, which means once you blow dry your hair, it's going to kind of hold that style for you longer and it smells really good. It has kind of a shimmer in it, so it adds a little shine to your hair. It's not heavy, so it doesn't weigh down the hair, and it really does kind of soften and condition any dry ends you may have. For those of you that color your hair or have a lot of layers, because I know the ends of layers do tend to get a little bit dry, so it's good to use products like this, which really help to condition those drier ends. And then, because I'm a little bit spoiled and I love hair products, I follow up with the Chi Silk Infusing Silk Reconstructing Serum. And I apply a little bit of this into the palms of my hand. Very little is all you need. Kind of rub it together, warm it up, and then take it through the bottom of my hair. And once I'm done kind of finger combing it through, I know there's a little bit of product left on those palms. So I'll divide my hair up in half and kind of just work it into the ends like this. What I like to call pancake style, just to get rid of the rest of the product. And it really does infuse a softer, smoother look. And again, it helps to keep away from that frizziness that horrible, horrible humidity tends to do. So that's it for the stuff I use when I get out of the shower. Then I blow dry my hair. Once I'm done blow drying my hair, which usually takes me maybe 20 or 25 minutes, 
I do wait a good 40 minutes after I've washed it to let it kind of air dry for a little bit and then I go in with the blow dryer. I use an inexpensive one from Conair that has that diffuser, the flat nozzle, which um, blows the hair down straight. You don't want something that's going to puff your hair up. You want you want the hair shaft to lay flat and straight. So I use that diffuser nozzle to help the hair lay flat and to make it more of a smooth blowout. Once I'm done blow drying my hair, I love to use the Kenra Shine Spray. It provides weightless shine, so it's not greasy, but I would definitely hold it, you know, eight to 10 inches away from your hair when you're spraying and keep it again at the middle to the lower ends of your hair. Do both sides, kind of finger comb it and it contains UV protectants that help guard your color. It provides frizz and flyaway control and it's a very super fine mist. So it works really well adding some shine back into the hair because whenever you blow dry your hair, iron it, you lose some of that shine. So this kind of brings it back, brings a little more life back into your hair. It doesn't really have a big fragrance to it. It's very lightweight. It gives you that nice shiny shampoo commercial look, which I love. And then this last product, I mostly use it when it's rainy, very, very high in humidity, just to extra control the frizz and flyaways. And sometimes I'll use it anyway, even if it's not horrible, because I love the glossiness it provides to my hair. And again, it's the Sexy Hair. This is the Smooth Sexy Hair Frizz Eliminator, and it's a serum. Basically, one little pump is all you need. I pump it into the palms of my hand, again, warm it up, and then run it through the very ends, almost like the last 20% ends of your hair. And again, pancake style it through to, you know, use up any of the little products left on your hands. And this really does smell good. I love the way the Sexy Hairline smells. It smells really good. It's almost like a warm kind of fragrant scent. It's a smooth and sleek serum that fights any frizz or flyaways whatsoever. And one of the things I like to do, because I do tend to get little flyaway baby hairs right up here, is if there's barely any product left on my hand, once I've done this, I kind of slightly run it like that. And it helps to kind of tame that. And I think it's an incredible little serum bottle. I've had this for over... I would say six or seven months and I've barely tapped into the product. I've used maybe 5% of this, if even that, because you really literally need so little to use and it works so wonderfully well. I'm not sure how much this costs. I think it's around $17, but again, this will last you for a year and if not two years, it will last you forever. And a little bit definitely goes a long, long, long way. So I promise you that I'm not high maintenance with my hair. It's just that my hair itself is high maintenance. It's hard. I wish I could take a shower, step out of the shower, let it air dry, and go on and about with my day and my business, but nope. My hair decides to be thick, wavy, and not quite curly, but definitely frizzy and puffy. So I have to blow dry, I have to use special shampoos and special styling products to kind of help tame it and make it look how I want. I wish I had gorgeously sleek straight hair just straight out of the shower, but I don't. And a lot of people, when they cut my hair and style my hair, they tell me that I'm blessed that I have such gorgeous, gorgeous thick hair, but I'm also cursed because it takes a long time to dry and a long time to style. But it's worth it, I think. I know that everybody complains about what they have. The girl with curly hair wants straight hair and the girl with straight hair wants curly hair. So you just have to work with what you have and find the products that work best for you. And luckily there's things both at the drugstore as well as high-end that can work just as well. It's all about testing products out and that's why I make these kinds of videos because it's fun to share what works for me. That's how I find products by watching videos that you guys make sharing what your favorites are. So don't forget to let me know what you use for your hair. If you have very frizzy hair, thick hair, or wavy hair, what do you do to make it straight and make it last? And what are your favorite shampoos because I'm always looking to try new products. Don't forget to leave me that information in the comment box below. If you aren't already subscribed, you can do that below as well, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Comes with a spray nozzle that actually has a lock, so you can lock it and then you can open it once you. Oh. <sighs>